On 16th June 2023, the assailants, believed to be Allied Democratic Front ADF, attacked the Mpondwe Lubiriha school, leaving over 40 dead. This killed students, looted food and burned some of the school properties. While addressing journalists on the ongoing investigations into the case, the police spokesperson Fred Enanga indicated that a young boy allegedly led the suspected ADF rebels. On the tragic day of the 16th, uh, after 10 p.m., uh, we, we learned that uh, uh, between 20 to 35 mm -hmm. ADF rebel fighters uh, crossed mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. Uganda through a crossing point uh, we identified at Duduma. Uh, this is along the border, uh, the western border of Uganda with the eastern border of DRC. And it is from there that they approached the school with the guidance of a young boy, according to the credible witnesses. Uh, so uh, you know, this place is just 1.5 kilometers uh, from the border. Enanga explained that the ADF rebels first hit the watchman with a hammer on the head before separating into two groups that attacked the two dormitories on reaching the school. They divided themselves and concurrently raided the two dormitories, the one for the female students and uh, also uh, for the male students, some of whom were, were revising. The painful part of it is that uh, they got the female dormitory still open and uh, they butchered uh, the girl victims who were there with knives, pit axes, hammers and hoes which they used to kill 19 female students. He added that a motorist identified as Julius Mohindo, who was riding towards Nyabugando, was the first to notice a small roadblock, but then the rebels fired towards his direction, prompting him to abandon his motorcycle. He then ran and mobilized his colleagues to come and check out the roadblock, suspecting that they were highway robbers. When uh, additional border border riders headed in that direction, uh, they fired more bullets. And that is when they alerted the defense secretary, uh, who also uh, called the OSI station and the DPC in Pondu. That was now around 11.25. Uh, 11, uh, we immediately mobilized two patrols with 16 personnel and also teamed up with uh, our counterparts, the UPDF from the 5th Mountain Battalion. Uh, which was uh, uh, headed by Major Kadu, who is the second in charge of the 5th Mountain Battalion. Enanga dismissed reports that security failed to respond to the crime scene on time. It is therefore not true that our officers delayed after getting information about the school terror attack and wouldn't like these matters to be politicized and, and uh, 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 to continue blame gaming, especially security agencies. We want to, of course, uh, reiterate that uh, as the joint security agencies, we are trained to move uh, toward gunfire. We are trained to move where there are attacks or threats. And like we have demonstrated in the foiled terror attacks, in the many foiled terror attacks in Ntoroko, Bundibujo, Chegegua, Kasese, and Kanung, we've never run away. We've never been intimidated by these attacks. He also said that out of the 17 bodies that got burnt beyond recognition, 11 were identified using DNA analysis, while six are still pending. We are calling upon relatives whose bodies have not yet been identified to send their biological mothers, maternal aunts and all maternal grandparents uh, to wear mm -hmm. a police station tomorrow, the 27th of June at around 10 a.m. Uh, for uh, further uh, sampling. Enanga noted that the death toll from the attack now stands at 44 as of today after a one Bambo Felista succumbed to injuries while at Buera Hospital and a decomposing female adult body recovered in DRC by UPDF. Mary Prima Awur, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.